Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can clean up your phone storage without removing any photos, documents or something else. Sometimes you just want to install this one app, but your phone constantly reminds you that you are running out of storage. Although these tips are completely harmless, make a backup just to make sure that your files are safe. It doesn't take that long either. Just connect your phone via your USB cable to your PC or Mac and copy all contents of your internal storage. I really recommend this to anybody, because many friends of mine have lost all of their data, because they lost their phone or got locked out of their accounts, but didn't have any backup to restore all of their pictures and other data from. But anyway, let's start with the first trick. Please note that this tip only works on Samsung phones with the Samsung UI. If you don't have a Samsung phone, just skip this part. First, let's check how much storage I have left on my phone. In my case, I looked that up in the settings under the storage section. Unfortunately, there's only 433 megabytes left. To get some of your storage back, go to your home screen and open up the phone application. After that, you have to type in the little star, then a hash, followed by 9900. To get to the special menu, you only have to type in another hash. There is no need to click the call button. If that didn't work for you, just skip the following part. In the hidden menu, you have a bunch of options. In our case, however, we want to hit the second option. This is going to delete some junk files on your smartphone. After you did that, click OK. And scroll down and hit Exit at the end of the menu and go back to your home screen. Now, I'm revisiting the storage section in the settings of my phone. And as you can see, this method got some of my space back. Now I have 1.19 GB free. Let's go on with the next trick. To get some extra space back, you can try to use the clean cache option below. Many manufacturers of Android phones offer that option in the settings. Over time, many gigabytes of data can be cached, so it's worth cleaning that from time to time. Also, you can go to the application manager in your phone settings and manually clean the cache of apps from there. Social media apps and your browser consume the most amount of data. If there is a problem with cleaning up the cache, you simply don't have the option to do that or you just want to clean up the cache completely, you can do that from your recovery as well. A recovery is something like a computer's BIOS. You should google or better use DuckDuckGo for privacy how to get into your recovery. Just search for something like your phone model plus recovery mode. For many Samsung phones, you have to press home, power and volume up simultaneously after shutting down the device. In the recovery, use volume up and down to navigate and press power to select an option. Navigate to wipe cache petition. Click the power button and select yes. Make sure not to click wipe data since this is going to delete all of your apps, documents, photos and more. After that, select reboot. After the device has rebooted, you should see that you got some space back. In my case, I have now 1.3 GB free. For the last trick, you need to install a file manager. Many brands have a file manager pre-installed, but if there isn't something like it, you can download one from Google Play. In your file explorer, go to your internal storage. You should see the folder Android 
and click on it. Then go to data and to com.sec.android.gallery3d. Look if there is anything inside of it. If there is, you can delete the folder since it won't remove any of your pictures. Sometimes the gallery produces a lot of cache or previously removed photos but doesn't clean itself up. Often there are many gigabytes in there. In my case there wasn't anything in it since this is not a phone I use every day and thus my gallery is empty. I hope this video helped you to get some of your storage back. If it did, please leave a like. If you have faced issues, please feel free to ask questions in the comment section below. Wish you a great day and bye!